WA. Now the first images of a proposed heated pool have been released to today tonight. So the pool is good for recreation, it's good for mental health, it's good for friendship. There's no legal reason or environmental reason why it couldn't be at Cottesloe. It's the proposal 16 years in the making. Plans for a world-class heated ocean pool on Cottesloe Beach that keeps getting knocked back. You'll have triathletes training in it, you'll have knee, hip, ageing population, you'll have disabled people, you'll have mothers and children. Executive Officer of Ocean Pools WA, Tom Locke, is just one of the key drivers behind the unique style geothermal pool. There's a whole lot of geothermal heat up and down our coast that can be tapped into with ocean water. The East Coast prides itself on its 100 tidal baths and rock pools. Here in Perth, we have none. There's a huge online you know, newsletter that lists all the reasons to come and visit Australia. Number two on the list, they've got pools in the ocean. Here's how it works. The pool will be built into the sheltered rocky groin of the beach. Using a series of vertical pipes reaching up to a kilometre below, heated water would be pumped back up into the natural salt spring. Experts say the water would be self-flushing and replenished every six hours. So it'll be warm water, it'll be calm, it'll be immune to sharks. Former WA Scientist of the Year, Jörg Imberger, says unlike the planned chlorinated pool for Scarborough, the concept for Cottesloe is a WA first. I don't understand what the opposition is, because we can have it self-flushing, it'll be unique in the world. It's not a concrete structure that we're building. For years, Professor Imberger has warned about rising tides reclaiming our shoreline. He says this would protect it. This restaurant here, it's been here for a long time. 50 years time it's going to be gone unless you build the pool because the ocean will just rise a little bit and undercut the uh, foundations and it'll be gone. But I believe an ocean pool would be good for everybody. Leslie Meany was the first female solo swimmer to complete the Rottnest Channel swim in 1969. Maggie Earle swam alone last year. Both would love to train in a saltwater ocean hot pool. And then you get the benefits of no stingers, flat water and still the salt water and everything that you get out from swimming in the ocean. The state government really hasn't given this option the attention it should. Labor Shadow Minister for Fisheries Dave Kelly says this could make our ocean safer without the need to cull sharks. Now that was a very unpopular and very expensive program. The government could have been uh, wiser to look at options like ocean pools. The town of Cottesloe told us it was not in a position to consider an ocean pool at this time, saying there are significant engineering and maintenance costs, and as a whole, the community has mixed feelings. It's a difficult place to bring anything new into. Uh, and as I say, I've, I've talked to five mayors, up to a dozen councillors. As for Tom, despite nearly two decades of campaigning, he's not giving up. And once the government twigs on how good this is going to be for tourism, for about six to eight million dollars a pop with no recurrent cost. A public forum will be held in Fremantle this Friday afternoon. Cassie Silver there. Next, we catch up with Blake at the Perth Royal Show. Please